hello good day to you so if you have issues signing into your unity hub that's what this video is about so i tried to sign into unity hub and i could not but if you look here you will see i'm signed in now but if you are not signed in, this will be showing you sign in. So this is the Unity Hub. And here is the Unity Editor. So you can see I'm also signed in here. Signing into the Unity Hub automatically signs you into the Unity Editor. But if you look at this bottom part, it says user not signed in. Okay. So as at the time I opened the Unity Editor, I wasn't signed in. So that's why it's still showing this. But from here, I'm signed in. Now it's possible for you to go into the browser and sign in, okay? But the issue I was having is even though this I didn't have any issue here, I was signed in into the browser, but I couldn't sign into the Unity Hub or into the Unity Editor. So what happens is if you try to sign in from the Unity Hub or the Unity Editor, it opens your default browser for you to input your user ID and password. That is if you are not already signed in into the browser. So and after you put in your login details, it just displays a blank page like this and inside the address bar you see something like this but you can't go beyond this point so even if you're already signed in into the browser and you try to sign in into the um, unity hub it just opens this blank page so this is the issue i was having so i searched for solution and for instance I got to this forum and there are different suggestions. Some of them worked for some people and some people said they didn't work. So some of the suggestions is to clear the task manager. Okay. I also tried that, went to the task manager, quit all the unity applications some suggested clearing the cache i also did that i cleared my browser cache and some even suggested uninstalling the app and reinstalling it that's the unity hub so you can see here i uninstalled it downloaded and reinstalled it it still didn't work for me but for some people it worked so i'm um, here to share with you what worked for me so for me this is what worked i saw this on stack overflow so there are many suggestions also here but this is the one that worked for me so it's even this person is saying for me removing registry key didn't work okay so he tried something else someone else suggested and it didn't work and this is what worked for him so he said i was able to solve issue by basically running unity hub dot exe with arguments containing full url okay so this is the command basically and he's this is something you need to note use this use this command line from the place unity hub executable is located so you need to run this command where unity hub executable is located what does that mean so you need to locate this folder for me it's inside the program files okay so this is how to get there from my pc look at this program files unity hub so from inside unity hub you run the command prompt so how do you run command prompt from 
this folder i didn't know how to do that i also had to search for it so this is how to do it so once you're inside the folder press alt d to focus the address bar then type cmd and press enter so it's very straightforward so from inside this folder you type you press alt d okay so alt d so this is it and then you type cmd and enter so it has opened my command prompt so now you just need to run this command unityhub.exe and this url so to run that so this is it unity hub unity space hub okay sorry i mean something dot exe then space and you put this url okay so this is the url how do you get this url so you, you don't just copy what you have here it's different it's a session information so it's different for you so you go to that page that unity hub takes you to this page this is the place to get that url from this is not the url if you put this it won't work so to get that url you need to inspect this page or the, you view the page source you right click and view page source so this is the url you copy it you select it It's easy to select it from this side. So you just select it. Okay. Oh. So. So you just select up to this point. Then you right click and you copy it then you go to the command prompt and you paste it here once you right click you just paste it then you hit the enter key on your pc once you do that it just signs you in straight so that's how i was able to solve this issue and now i'm signing so i hope this helps you like I said, some solutions work for some people, but this is what worked for me. So thank you for your time.